Hey guys, and welcome back to EchoCast. We are a bunch of YouTubers who make videos on the server called EchoCraft, and um, we decided to make a podcast about it. That's basically it, all you need to know about us. Uh, so my name is Pokemon i I'm the host of EchoCast, and today I'm being joined by Pizza Buff, one of the newest members. Hello. Speaking of pizza, I, 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 we were talking about this before the podcast, but um, I actually did make a pizza, like right before the podcast and then <laughs> and then realized the podcast was happening I was like oh okay okay i need to finish this up so i got like a little pizza on my desk <laughs> that's just kind of sitting there hope it doesn't get cold <laughs> by the end of this um yeah so uh yeah i think this is very exciting i mean we we talked last week you and um mm -hmm. magpie and rabbit uh, but now we can we can talk a little bit one-on-one -on -one, just kind of what you're like, what are your thoughts on it? Like, you've been on the server now for about a week or two-ish, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, I mean, you're, I, you're a little it, late. Cause I, missed, on I missed the first boat, week. You're on some boat cruise or something like that. What, yeah, what was I it? was in Alaska. It was in Alaska. <laughs> and um, the internet literally would not let me log on the server. It was so much fun. I, I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so you've been on the server about a, about a week. Have you been able to interact with, like, anyone? I, I'm, every time I'm on, there's usually two or three people on, which wasn't always yeah. the case in season four so it's super exciting yeah um i have been inter interacting with quite a few people i was well for the dragon fight i was with a uh, wagging rabbit oh yeah i saw that sky um and then interacted with lucid a little bit earlier a little bit with miu um a little bit with mad um the only people i really haven't interacted much with are uh sassy solely uh you um aside from Echo cast and mm -hmm. I think that's it. I think I've interacted it's like with the Brits, the Brits that aren't on when you yeah, get on the people server. who have uh, odd time zones that mess things yeah. up. Yeah. Um, I, I know DC. Yeah. Uh, oh, I don't remember where he where he was, but like he he was in a weird time zone too, and it wasn't like UK time. He was like the one random person that wasn't in line with basically everyone else. Like everyone <laughs> else is like UK time or like one of the four US times, and then DC was just kind of out there just doing his own thing not. Um, yeah just just not yeah. <laughs> oh man so like what how, how have you enjoyed the server so far like what what kind of stuff have you i saw you made a uh the spawn portal which looks super cool i, I really yeah, like yeah. the i really like nether portals that kind of kind of look like they're the dimensions are kind of blurring into each other so mm -hmm. yeah that's like that. That, that that was one of the first things I, I built because the portal itself um, at spawn was really, well, it was really bad. It was just, literally just a two by three standard portal. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this is like a spawn portal, like the center of the world that didn't seem. Yeah, seem to, it did not seem appropriate. Well. <laughs> um, so I, I, I changed that. I added some ores to, to make it look nice and shiny. Um, and I also built a bunch of surrounding stones around the outside. One, a couple of which I'm using as just like a my like a Stonehenge type area. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I'm work. I've been working on the uh, terraforming around it uh, for a okay. little while now. Um, that actually kind of reminds me of. Um, oh, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> after that, I'm probably just gonna uh, start working on farming farms for uh, shops and stuff, and getting stuff set up for the economy. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to be doing that in my next episode. I really need to I, I tried to do the dirt business last last season, but oh, it didn't no. it didn't go very well. But <laughs> but it's like it's it's actually like a super super like common like a like um high demand thing. Like mm -hmm. like at the beginning of last season like there was a few times where people in the Discord was like, has anyone made a dirt shop yet? Has anyone made a dirt shop yet? I was like, I'm working yeah. on it. My internet's killing me, but <laughs> I'm working on it. So uh, I, I really want to get into that as early as I can this season. And that's that's kind of, I don't want to give too many spoilers uh, because this is going to be kind of like my mega base project. Mm -hmm. um, but I really do oh. want to do a lot, of, a lot of cool stuff, a lot of cool farms um, to specifically revolving around the the dirt business so i feel would like would you would would you potentially be willing to do mud mud farming yes 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 mud packed that mud is, horse dirt you're going to get so many diamonds from me sir you're going to get so <laughs> nice. many diamonds are you using are you using mud a lot this season i'm i'm probably going to be using a significant amount of of packed mud bricks okay that'll um, probably be for... the first farm i make then 
<laughs> nice. I, I was already uh, I was already planning on doing um like a a field of wheat based the first step before I even like build anything. Just like do like a rolling hill, rolling hills of wheat to for specifically for packed mud. Also, I just thought it looked kind of cool. So yeah, yeah, I'll be I'll do I'll be doing that sometime hopefully within the next few weeks. Um, and you guys will be able to see the progress in that in our videos. Speaking of which, there have been a lot of uh, uploads this weekend. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just, Everyone I'm just getting pings just left and, once. Yeah, I'm just getting pings left and right on on the community Discord. It's like, okay, Sky's uploaded. Oh, there's Sassy. There's there's Pizza. There's Magpie. Uh, then I uploaded, and then um, yeah, just like <laughs> everyone, it's just like, okay, everyone's first episodes are coming out the, the exact same time. Which is which is just kind of funny. So it's it's a, it's a little bit hard to keep up, but I think I just watched Sassy's video like an hour ago. So mm -hmm. I watched that I, as well. I think I've I think I'm caught up on everyone. <laughs> yeah, there, there's the people like um like Mad and Sully kind of go a little bit more in depth in their editing. They I know their editing mm -hmm. process takes can take a, a week or two. So um, I'm not surprised their videos aren't out yet. But um, yeah. yeah, they're gonna be they're gonna be exciting when they when they do come out. I can't imagine work uh, editing one video for a week straight. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I don't even want to yeah. think about that. Yeah, I, I I try. Obviously, it never happens this way, but I I try uh, to kind of do like a video every two weeks. Usually, it's every three mm -hmm. weeks. There's sometimes it's been like a month. Um, especially back home, like I'm in college right now. My dorm has not dorm. My apartment has like crazy good internet for some reason i don't know why it's like 200 down, uh 200 up or something like that it's like uh, college wi-fi shouldn't be like this oh but, wow uh, <laughs> yeah that's pretty good for college wi-fi yeah yeah so i've, I've been so while i'm while i'm here of course schoolwork kind of gets in the way but um i've been i've been being a bit more active on the server uh, just because i can back home the internet is very very slow it's like a, a fraction of a a megabit so it's oh, no. <laughs> so uh, it's a bit harder back home so um but yeah it's it's been it's been exciting i'm i'm so glad i was here instead of home at the beginning of the season so i can make the most of it you know yeah yeah it's definitely it's definitely the case usually my cycle for for really seeing video is two or three weeks i think it might be a little bit tighter with echo craft and over the summer but once school hits again for me i'll probably have to trim it down to every two or three weeks but mm -hmm. we'll see it really depends on what else i have going on it's pretty variable from from month to month yeah my my school year is weird i'm i go from like january to july um oh. <laughs> so that's that's actually kind of nice I like, it's, it's I, nice because i'm like, like having... home i'm home for like the all the holidays in the summer basically yeah. which is like I think is the perfect stretch of the year to be home. The only thing um, I wouldn't like about that is having my birthday, not during a vacation, but the rest of it, like having the entire fall as a vacation, like that'd be really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause like, I love Halloween. Halloween's great. Uh, obviously Christmas. No, Thanksgiving is just kind of like the one in the middle that you can kind of forget <laughs> about until it happens. It's just the one that's there. Yeah. It's just the one that's there. But, but I love it. Like the, the day of things, like the week leading up to Thanksgiving, you aren't thinking of Thanksgiving like at all. And then the day of it's like, mm -hmm. Oh, this is great. There's like the Macy's parade and then there's like food and everything. And then there's like leftovers for like a week, just like leftover mashed potatoes and yeah. stuff, which is great. Um, but like, it doesn't have the same lead up for me as it does as like Halloween and Christmas, you know, there's not as much hype around it, but it's still mm -hmm. fun once it gets there. Yeah. It's, it's on, it's on like the same plane as new year's for me. Like new year's is yeah. so soon after Christmas. Like, it's it's almost blinking you'll miss it. It's like Christmas. You've got mm. you you know everyone leads up to Christmas for like two months, <laughs> like like yeah. Christmas is huge for like two months, and then after Christmas you're um you know you're doing you're doing stuff. You're going and seeing seeing some lights and, and maybe hanging out with family, playing with your new gifts and and stuff like that. Like e the week after Christmas is usually just as busy as the week before Christmas, and then new, and then New Year's just kind of pops in. And it's like hello, I'm here. <laughs> You know? Yeah, I mean, there's even like a lead down from Christmas. I've I've seen like people like slowly take down their decorations and stuff mm -hmm. over the course of a couple of weeks, and usually like New Year's is just right on the tail end of that or like in the middle of it. So it's just kind of there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. So this is something I want to talk about. Um, I noticed in your video you, you use shaders, right? 
Yes, um, yes. I th- everyone seems to use shaders now. <laughs> like it's crazy. <laughs> I, I mean, it helps that I've, I've kind of noticed this since everyone's been releasing their first episodes. But like, it seems like e- it seems like all the new people use shader. I don't. I don't remember Rabbit t- episode actually. Um, whether he used shaders or not. I can't remember either. I know but, Magpie did. Yeah, Magpie does. You do. Uh, Lagging does. Um, Sassy did in his video. Um, and it's just like, okay, I've never seen like so many people use shaders before. Normally, normally, like if you get if you get a room full of Minecraft players, maybe like one or two of them will like be the shader people. You know, everyone else will be vanilla. Mm-hmm. But it seems like half the server now is using is using shaders, so it's it's really interesting. It's kind of a fun, um, fun little quirk, I guess, of playing with a bunch of different people with different styles. Ma- Rabbit does not use shaders. I just checked his video okay, does not cool. have shaders in it. Oh, Sky. Um, Sky also plays with shaders. Yeah, Sky uses shaders. Um, uh, is anyone else? consistent I, I think a couple people use it for like cinematic shots but yeah yeah think, like like i think solely might do that yeah. solely and lucid i don't use shaders like at all light. like i i really like the um like the default optifying sodium shade or was it iris the default uh, optifying iris shaders that like green and, mm-hmm. and mumbo use like the ones that just kind of they still feel vanilla but they're just kind of brighten up everything kind of put like yeah um, I really like those, but for some reason, um, Iris hates my uh, like Minecraft hates Iris for me. For some reason, it will <laughs> instantly crash, crash the game. Like if you saw my video, the crash at the very beginning um, was with the Iris shaders on, and you can see like the two two or three seconds of gameplay before that crash had the shaders on, and then after that was just vanilla. <laughs> it's because I had, it's because I had Iris installed, and and it just instantly hates me whenever I try to load up a That's game. It's really weird. I can't think of why you would, why it would do that. Like, that's really odd. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 <laughs> yeah. I, have no I, idea. I only use shaders because I've gotten to the point where my computer can handle it. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> mine and, cannot. <laughs> yeah, I, I just really like using them. They just make everything look nicer. And, um, I think soon I'm gonna get a new uh, CPU for my computer as well, so I get to have a render distance that's higher than eight chunks oh that'll be so, really nice this season yeah. for some reason has been killing my pc like i don't know if you've noticed in my, in my first video but it is pretty consistently yeah like right I around saw, 20 20 or 30 frames and I saw, I saw a little bit of lag yeah yeah and that wasn't normal last season i like last season i could pretty consistently stay around 50 uh, not quite 60 if if I was recording. So I, I record at 48 FPS. It's like <laughs> it's like the nice middle ground between 30 and 60. Uh, it's just like what com- my computer can handle normally. Um, and yeah, so was, uh, so in I my on... in my season four videos, I could I could do that. But if I got around to spawn, it would probably dip down to like 30. But for the most part, last season was really, was really smooth. And I think it might be the um, the cherry blossoms. I wonder if I go into mm go travel to my mega base area that things will run a bit smoother which would be great because i plan to have a lot of redstone contraptions in my mega base area which are going to slow things down (laughs) i mean i would have thought it really would have been smoother than 1.19 because mojang did a huge revamp yeah yeah they did a bunch of lighting stuff yeah, the, like the lighting engine, I uh, I saw like a demonstration. One of the hermits, I think, I think Azuma. X did a little demostration yeah. of, of it, and it went from like judders whenever you went between chunks, um, to like just straight sixty FPS in his, mm-hmm. in his and base. he was and testing it, was, it and, and and like he was specifically testing it on like the worst offenders of the possible. server. Yeah, yeah. So it's just like, okay, why <laughs> why isn't it working for me? <laughs> <laughs> I know I noticed a little bit um, of lag here and there. Like honestly, the only issue I have is with whenever I get a- around too many entities, and that's just because my CPU is not up to snuff. Like my graphics card is way overpowered for the CPU <laughs> I have in there right now. I have a I have a ninety six hundred K that's like almost five years old, and I have a, a sixty nine hundred XT in there. Mm-hmm. Um, they're yeah. very v- imbalanced. Yeah, so, I think Spawn um, l- last season Spawn was. Uh, really laggy for me specifically because there was um, everyone had like underground villager trading halls and stuff like that just like at spawn yeah. underneath their their starter bases because I know I know a lot of people so we did we decided to 
when we were voting on the seed, we decided to be on this big island so that everyone would be fairly close together um, mm-hmm. and be able to interact more and stuff. And uh, I really liked that. But then it, it didn't seem like people spread out on the island very far. Like there was, um, let's see, ZL and Dylan kind of settled in a, a taiga. And then I was somewhere, I, I was kind of in the middle coastal area um, with my hobbit hole. Um, and then I think ev- basically everyone else just settled around like the few chunks right at spawn. <laughs> wow. So it was, it was really funny. But it, it did mean spawn was, spawn did feel pretty lively at times, which was fun. That's good. Yeah, yeah, I, I lag a lot around uh, Mad's base with all his villagers and his signs for all of the uh, the books that he's selling <laughs> and stuff. Oh, I haven't I I I jump scared Mad uh, as uh, as he's working on the base. <laughs> yeah, I think I saw I think I saw that in the video. That was that was funny. Uh, but I, I mean, he didn't I even he just like walked right through you. Yeah, I he he noticed me and then you like did a double take and like turned back and I was right there. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was so funny. But I haven't I haven't been over by his base since then, because um, between schoolwork and then working on my own episode, I've just kind of been I've been sticking around like my little peninsula area, and then like the the cherry grove mm-hmm. with like the villagers and iron farm and stuff. Um, Soli's base is looking super cool. I, I don't know, know it right? It is. It's, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Really cool. Built, uh, like, and he put that it was up like within the f- like two days or something like that like yeah i was off the server for like a day or two and then it was just like there i was like okay i logged on for the first time and i saw that immediately and i was like what who made this <laughs> that was quick yeah i know. It was like it used like a ton of like really exotic blocks and i was like who how did he get all of this he must have spent yeah. all of his resources on this yeah like from day one just like instantly going just getting blackstone getting mud and yeah and all this this kind of stuff um, and he's got armor trims to boot, so, <laughs> so it's I like, did see a couple of those. So yeah, Sully, Sully's been grinding this la- this first week or so, which has been really fun to see. I only just finished my starter base, and I'm working on a, a different project that I'm not spoiling yet because you mm-hmm. are involved in it, whether you know that or not. <laughs> Wait, what? So yep, <laughs> yep. That's it. That's all you're getting from me. <laughs> oh no, I'm scared now. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, so. So that's what it's doing. Oh, man. So I, I act. Okay, so I did ask the community Discord for a few Q&A questions last night. Um, and I got way more than I thought I would. Let's see. Let's count. Kind of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got ten. I got ten questions. And I posted that at like 1 a.m. last night. Um, so like, <laughs> it, was, it was surprising how many, how many people replied. So, um, let's just do, let's just do a couple of these. I don't want to run through all of them because I do kind of want to stretch these out over multiple episodes. Um, but let's see, right. let's, let's find one specific to, uh, new member. Okay. J- okay. Jam, Jam says new members. Uh, do you think you've enjoyed content more by being in Echo Craft? Wait, do you think... Oh, it's worded weird. <laughs> Jam, you typed this out weird. Um, new members, do you think you've enjoyed content more by being in EchoCraft slash feel more motivated by joining? So, like, now that you're on the server, do you think you're more motivated to make content than you were before? I guess that's what he's saying. I think that's I think that's actually definitely true for me. Um, obviously, I can't speak for, for Rabbit or Magpie. Um, and But I... I have found for myself that I am better at communicating and uh, recording stuff for my videos whenever I'm interacting with other people. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. That's like my last, um, uh, not the last one, but the one before that of my survival series that I was doing before I joined EchoCraft. Um, I invited a friend on, Just I actually just invited him to my house in real life so I could mess around with him in the world. And I thought that's, I think that's one of the funniest videos I've ever made just because I was interacting with a different person mm-hmm. and not just talking to myself. Yeah, that was that was the that was the one that really stuck out to me when you were um uh when I saw your application video. Mm-hmm. Um so let, let's I don't, I don't know if it's probably fine to say like <laughs> but I, I was basically <laughs> the one who who kind of pushed for you to join. Like I was the one who like first saw your video and then brought you up. 
Um, yeah. And I think Sassy brought up the other two. Um, and then everyone agreed to let you guys let you guys join because we all, you know, we all we all discuss it. We don't <laughs> we're just like, hey, this guy's coming on the server now. You guys don't get to say anything. So everyone guys, discussed it. Yeah. <laughs> Every, everyone discussed it. But I was the yeah. one who, who kind of was like, hey, this guy should join. Um, and they all agreed. So, but yeah, I, I did like that video. The only problem I had was the audio balancing because I mm-hmm. guess your friend was like really far away from the mic. So you could, yeah, he didn't have his own him. mic. That was, that was the only thing I couldn't really help. So I, I tried boosting the audio whenever you talked and adding subtitles. Yeah. I couldn't really help that, <laughs> but yeah, I've, I've had to put like a compressor on mine so that, cause I, I will do, I, I mean, I don't now that I'm here at college, but when I'm back home, I'll do a lot of videos with uh, my brother, um, Piff the Penguin. If you guys have seen him on my on my channel a bunch, um, but mm-hmm. we will do like Lego videos. Like we'll, we we've been doing some playthroughs of like Lego Star Wars and like Lego um, Lord of the Rings. Mm-hmm. Actually, that's not on the channel yet. Uh, yeah, we we we've recorded some <laughs> Lego Lord of the Rings <laughs> that I have on the flash drive. Spoilers. Um, <laughs> well, it's like I don't, I don't, kind of, I don't want to start editing them now because we. So we got through. So I got it on the Wii, and we got through Fellowship of the Ring, and then I moved to college, mm-hmm. and so I don't want to like upload them all now and then just like not have any more videos for a while. So I'm kind of waiting till I get back home and I can start recording those again with him, um, because obviously the Wii doesn't have internet capabilities these days. I mean, a while you know. When it was in its prime, it had like servers and stuff, but, but yeah, um, so yeah, I thought that's gonna be happening sometime, probably on my second channel. <laughs> I don't know when. My second channel is like a mess. It's just like other stuff that's not Minecraft, and yeah. I just kind of upload on there whenever, um, because it used to be that everything was on my main channel, and <clears throat> yeah, I didn't really have like a a focus, and so I just said like, okay, I still want to make these types of videos, you know, I. Like I used, I did playthroughs like Undertale and stuff, and so I really want to do that kind of stuff. But I don't want it to affect my like my main channel discoverability. So I just threw it on a second channel, and I think there's like maybe four or five videos on there. <laughs> and I made yeah. it like six months ago, or, or oh I don't know how long ago. Yeah, that that channel is just the kind of the place that I can do whatever I want whenever I want. I don't have to worry about like a schedule or anything, and just just throw random crap just on there. Just throw and random crap on there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, that's also probably where I'm going to be putting some stream vods for um, like other games besides Minecraft because I've got I've got like Ori in the Blind Forest. I got both of the Ori games on Steam during a sale. They're like two or three dollars each or something like that. And so I really want to stream those because I've heard they're really, really good games. Um, so, but I, I, I kind of want to do that on Twitch and then maybe upload the vods. I don't know. I'm still working it out. I don't yeah. know. Like I know there's kind of a, a a big discussion around YouTube versus Twitch streaming. So I'm still doing some research on that. I don't. I don't like Twitch right now. Twitch is Twitch is messing things up on their end. I don't. I don't know how much of you've like seen of what Twitch is doing, but they've like. They've, I know. I know they've been of... screwing people over with um yeah. the revenue split. They just like yeah. decided out of the blue to take more more that had revenue. That that's that's one of the big things. And the other thing is they've lost a ton of their bigger creators to um I forget what it's called. Um, it's a it's a, it's basically just Twitch but different. Um, mm-hmm. and and newer. Um. But and they're actually using Amazon's servers, like they're buying servers from Amazon <laughs> to use for their streaming services. So, <laughs> which actually That's might be funny, more profitable cause... for Amazon than Twitch itself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they're they're honestly like I, they're kind of fumbling the ball a little bit, and I'm not sure what they're doing over there. But I've just kind of I've never really used Twitch, but I've watched people who use Twitch. Mm-hmm. Thing is, for streamers, Twitch. yeah. For streamers, it is objectively easier to grow on Twitch and get mm-hmm. paid earlier than it is on YouTube. For sure. Just like yeah. way, 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 way easier, which is kind of the appeal for me a little bit. It's like, okay, growing, I want to kind of grow an audience in multiple places maybe uh, for different styles of content. And even if there's only people who watch my micro videos and only people who watch my Twitch, Twitch streams, you know, there's still people watching my content. I don't need them to, you know, move to yeah. my other. I, I, I Yeah, I'm not... I wouldn't be upset if people on Twitch were not moving to my YouTube content and vice versa. 
you know i think it'd just be yeah. cool to to put some um oh i've heard this allegory before but like put some fishing poles into different places you know to you know um it's a weird allegory <laughs> but uh yeah anyway i guess i kind of <laughs> talked about like what i've been doing like my thoughts on like a second channel have you ever considered that or like what what other content have are you interested in besides minecraft if you are if if any i'm i'm into a ton of different stuff my, my real limitation is, is time i i've tried making videos on other video games before i've considered maybe making a second channel and just or even just using this channel and just whenever i want to play a different game on camera just stream it because I feel like those streaming on YouTube and making regular videos on YouTube are pretty detached. Um, so I don't think that would mess around with the algorithm too much, but I kind of have to do more research into that. Oh, did I you might, see they actually, make... they actually have a new graph on... Um... Sorry, I took a bite of pizza. Um... <laughs> <laughs> They've... There's a new graph in the YouTube analytics that shows you um, what percent of your people watch your videos, what percent of people watch your streams like shorts and like both mm. um they kind of they've got oh. like a venn diagram type thing that shows the percent of pe the percentage of people and what types of content they watch so you can probably look on there and and see um here i'm, a, I'm gonna pull it up really quick actually just yeah um, that's what i'm doing right now uh and see uh. reveal on on the podcast exactly what <laughs> what my viewership is <laughs> Um, Let's see. Creator Insider? That's not it. No, it's in it's in analytics. I think it's in um, audience. I don't know. I, I saw VidIQ made a post about it. And oh, that's... formats your viewers watch YouTube. I do not have enough data to show that report. Ah, wait, <laughs> formats? Formats? I think formats it's like. Your uh, okay. I, I I'm trying to remember if formats are like. Um, like PC versus mobile versus oh no yeah viewers oh, across crossovers okay yeah. so videos only is 82 percent uh shorts only is two percent and then watching both is oh okay so you can compare viewers and uh, videos and shorts videos and live and then shorts and live so we were mm -hmm. talking about videos and live streams so videos only is 90 ooh 93 percent both is three percent and then live only is four percent Ooh, that's kind of rough <laughs> um yeah uh i, I don't have enough data to is, show that report the videos and shorts is a bit more overlapped 82 percent videos 16 percent both and two percent shorts so which is which is good like I, I don't have a whole ton of people who watch only the shorts you know mm -hmm. like it's there's an overlap there which means if I were smart, if I were a smart content creator, I'd probably dig more into the shorts thing. But yeah, I just don't prioritize it at all. <laughs> I just, I've I made just a couple, but to. I I don't know how the algorithm works. I think the YouTube Shorts algorithm is just stupid. It just it's not something that makes sense to me. It's I it's haven't figured it out at all yet. Yeah, uh, but like. I will so I'll make a bunch of shorts and then upload them within like a week of each other. Let's see. Mm -hmm. So like okay, so I made four shorts at a time and published them from like December twenty eighth to January fourth. And then January thirty first through February seventh, I released five shorts. And then I released like one random one in May. So I'll I'll like I'll do it every month or two. <laughs> I was just like, I was like, huh, I should probably make some shorts. People are always telling you this is the way, this is like the way to grow on YouTube these days. So I'll do some shorts. And then every time I do, I get thousands of views on every short. And it's like, huh, this is, you know, this is proof that I really need to be working on shorts. And then I just don't yeah. do any more for like a month or two. I just don't know why. <laughs> it's not, I'm not like being stubborn about it or anything. It's just like, I'll think about it. Yeah. I'll think about it, and then, and then I'll just for, like forget. Or like, uh, a lot of my shorts are um, highlights of my own of my like long form videos. Yeah, that's, and I've so done I'll, that before. And so I'll think like, okay, what 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 funny f moments, what cool moments have been in my videos recently? And then I'll just like I'll think ten seconds about it, not think of anything off the top of my head, and it's just like, okay, well, 
Never mind. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Oh, man. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's do another question. Um, I guess you were talking about school. Um, mm-hmm. So there's a couple There's a couple people who ask kind of the same question. So Janik and Josh both ask um, about balancing. So Janik says, if you're doing YouTube as part-time, how do you manage your time? And if you're doing YouTube as full-time, what's your time schedule? And then Josh says, what advice would you give to people trying to balance two things at once? Not necessarily content creation, but of course we're content creators, so we can talk to that. Um, yeah. So, so like, what's so kind of how how do you balance that? How do you balance content creation? Because uh, you're you're doing it part time, or or not even mm-hmm. getting paid. Um, yeah, no, I don't get paid. I I don't have <laughs> so the for subscribers both, for or both the of it. So that, for that for both of it, us, it's like a hobby. Hopefully, mm-hmm. maybe. A source of income in the future but yeah part-time would be nice um yeah. i i kind of look at it and i explained it to lucid actually when because he did an interview basically with me before i got accepted to echo Crafts. i kind of explained it like be, because making content is something that i enjoy i will always have in the back of my mind be making a slot in my time to do something fun because i know in my head that If I don't do something fun, like reliably throughout like a week, like if if I go an entire week without having any time to do anything fun and it's just all work, 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 school, work, whatever, I'm going to go insane. It's, it's just Mm -hmm. an inevitability. And it just happens to be that making content creation for me is fun. So that is just what goes in that time slot. Yeah. Um, and it's just, I've, I'm, I noticed in school that people like join like 40 bajillion clubs and do the drama club and then they do like four sports and then they have no time for anything else. And then they complain about it. I'm like, well, you kind of did this to yourself. (laughs) Like (laughs) you've left no time for anything else. Unless, unless they enjoy those clubs. Unless like, I mean, yeah, like you can enjoy that, but like, that's still a lot of obligations to be like devoting yourself to, which is fine. But like, some people don't realize how much that actually means and how little time they might actually have in the future. Mm -hmm. Mental, mental health is a big thing. Yeah. Like Mm -hmm. there's very, there's very, like this isn't just related to school or, or, um, or YouTube or whatever, but like just in general, the society right now is in a very much like grind mindset. And since COVID, I Mm -hmm. feel like it's actually kind of, um, been moving into a really good place of people being more understanding about mental health and like, um, being more ready to work to adapt to changes and stuff like that. Yeah. But like, I do know before COVID, it was it was a big problem and still is kind of a big problem, especially in in um like the video game and uh, animation like industries. But like, grind mindset is like the expected in certain places of society right now, and like if you aren't it's almost like you're looked down upon if you aren't working as much as you can as, you know, as all the time, you know, get it, day, getting all the, getting all the money yeah. you can. Yeah. Like if you're like, it's a waste of time if you're a gamer or if it's like, you know, it's, you know, st- stuff like that. So it's, but I feel like, I feel like since COVID people have been much more, people kind of opened up to seeing like, Oh wait, you know, grind mindset is kind of bad actually. <laughs> and, and yeah. we need to like make adaptions and and, I feel, and yeah that's like with school or work or or whatever you kind of just need to make time for yourself um mm-hmm. and it's it's definitely a balance and so um i think if it's very very easy especially now that like i like i said so i'm in college right now and i've got a bunch of classes and mm-hmm. if i don't make time i'm not gonna get any time for <laughs> youtube exactly. or or stuff like that like like I need to, I need to sit down and say, okay, I'm gonna take some time to myself right now. I'm gonna take an hour or two, maybe uh, for for YouTube or to watch a movie, or stuff like that, to get my mind in a better position so that I can go back and do schoolwork with a better mind and probably faster. Because if you're stressed out doing schoolwork, like I'm speaking to schoolwork right now because I'm in the middle of it right now. But with anything, like if you're 
intimidated by something, even if it's such a simple task, you will take forever to do it. You know, yeah. like yeah. I will be staring at, you know, the, the, the course calendars and stuff like that. And it's like, oh boy, I've got, you know, I've got three assignments I need to do today. And I'll just be, I'll spend more time worrying about it instead of actually going in there and just like knocking it out within like 10 minutes, you know? Yeah. And I'm in a better mindset to go in there and knock it out after 10 minutes if I've taken time to myself. If I've like, you know, just had a super fun recording session with some someone or, or you know, gone to a club, I'm in like, yeah, yeah, gotten a snack or I'm in, I'm in like the video production club. Um, so mm. I've, I've been helping out with a student film, which has been super fun and, um, like doing stuff like that, like once I get home or once I'm, I'm done with the movie or whatever, I, I can turn to my homework and be like, okay, knock this out, knock this out, knock this out. And then I'll be done within half an hour to an hour. Whereas I might spend two or three hours just like slowly kind of meandering through different assignments and stuff, worrying about it, you know? So. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like COVID, over the course of COVID, people either were forced to stop working and then they were able to do something fun and they're like, oh, this is this is actually kind of nice. Or they got to the point where because of COVID, their mental health was to the point where they had to do something mm-hmm. and they they were forced to kind of take that time for themselves and figure out a way to avoid it. And then they're like, oh, this is actually kind of nice. I should keep doing this outside of COVID. And I yeah. feel like it's just kind of like leaked out into the rest of the population from there. And yeah, I I feel like that was just a really hard moment that people forced people to think about how their time Mm. was actually spent. There's a reason 2020 was like one of Nintendo's best selling years in a while. I mean, the switch already said like, I feel like I haven't looked at the actual sales numbers, but like if I had to bet, I'd guess 2017, Switch's launch, Breath of the Wilds, uh, Mario Odyssey, all that. I feel like that was probably the best year. Mm-hmm. And then and then 2020 was, like, the next best. So, yeah, Nintendo was definitely, like, you know, people... Animal Crossing came on 2020, which was a happy accident. And it just yeah, that blew was up. Great it absolutely them. blew yeah. up, yeah. And so... Um, yeah, there's there's a reason why, why stuff like that ended up doing really well in 2020 while everything else was like really suffering. Yeah. I'm trying to think of other game companies that released something that popped off in the middle of COVID. Um, um I know there see. was a couple more. Um, I mean, uh I don't know. When did Halo, Halo Infinite came out 2021? Like back in the 2021. So that was like right as COVID was kind of dying down a bit. Um, Cyberpunk released, but I guess that was kind of a mess, so it didn't really matter. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, I, uh, I want to think like Star Wars. I mean, I mean, Battlefront's been Fall Guys. Um, Fall Guys. Oh, Fall Guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fall Guys and Among Us. Oh, Among Us was a big one. And Among how Us. Are we th- yep. Yeah. Uh, how how did I forget that? that? Part? Yeah. During COVID, like I was doing a bunch of videos with my friends on Among Us um, because you could do it online and everything, and it. Uh, yeah, it just blew up. So stuff like that, like, yeah, it was really, really yeah. I don't, I don't think Among Us stuff pop well, off. Well, Among Us had actually already been out for a few years. It had, it just blew up because of COVID. Yeah, yeah, and and yeah. actually, me and my siblings had actually been playing Among Us like since launch, basically. Like, mm-hmm. like my sister was just browsing the app store, trying to find like some fun little game we could play together. Um, and she just stumbled across Among Us. Like, oh, it's Mafia in space. This is really fun. And I still remember because um, it's got like the little update tag in the little top left corner. You know that tells yeah. you when. So I do. I do remember it was November twenty eighteen. Like that hmm. was that was when we started playing it. And then it like blew up two years later. And it's like we knew this. We knew about this game before COVID. <laughs> you know, we knew we've, its been, we've been playing this for a while. We've been playing this since Skeld was the only map, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and you could only play with like, um, or how many, so many people or, you know, no, there wasn't yeah. any skins. There wasn't any stuff like that. We're um, not just on the hype train. We've actually been playing this. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and so I was, it was, it was really cool for us specifically when we saw it blowing up. It was like, Oh, this random little obscure app app store game we found to play as as, as a family 
just like blew up and now it's it's all over the internet you know so it's i think oh and stardew valley i think also got really big in yeah COVID. like a lot of yeah. a lot of the a lot of the slower long-term games like minecraft obviously mm-hmm. um and games collaborative that, games yeah games that you really need to sit down and spend some time with that people didn't have the time to do back when uh back before mm-hmm. covid like stuff like that yeah and there's a reason animal crossing blew up Stuff like that was just like people could sit down and spend the time to, to, work on a virtual world and and do a lot of stuff in there. So those kind of games really really like did great. And then of course the social online games, so people could actually have social interactions, <laughs> you know, <laughs> instead of being instead of being stuck. Yeah, as an introvert, I loved COVID. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, COVID. Luckily, we were we weren't affected by it basically at all. Like we, didn't, yeah, same. Like we didn't. None of us caught. I mean, I caught it a few months ago for a few days, but like mm-hmm. I was fine, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Uh, like in the in the height of COVID, none of us. I don't think any of us caught it. None of our close or even extended family caught it. Like so, there weren't even any really scares of um of like you know loved ones or anything like that. Hmm. Uh, which I know, unfortunately, a lot of people had to deal with, which really sucks, <laughs> and I don't want to don't want to downplay that. But luckily for us, we didn't we didn't have to deal with any serious issues related to COVID. Um, it was it was basically just more more of the quarantine thing. So, um, yeah, we we did we did pretty fine, especially since we we had Among Us to turn to and and all this kind of stuff. And I mean, I could focus on youtube <laughs> you know a bit yeah um that was yeah that was i don't oh, it feels weird saying good times looking back at covid but in in a way just like some of the societal issues that kind of got brought up and have been getting fixed over time like covid was good times in a way there, there was good and bad benefits. like yeah. yeah like there's yeah. always if you I- can't you can't have bad without good and vice versa. Like there's, mm-hmm. yeah. If only I had gotten into YouTube the uh, the year COVID hit, I would have been, I would have had so much more content. But <laughs> you've oh well. been just going all out. Well, yeah. so I've been doing it since 2017. Yeah, no. Oh gosh, when did I start? 16, 2016. <laughs> so you're uh, going on seven I've been, years now. Yeah, seven years. Um, which be eight this October. I like. I love to do um, this thing called Halloween Week. Um, mm-hmm. Basically, the start of my so the anniversary of my channel is October twenty fifth, exactly a week before Halloween. I didn't plan that at all, and but it just kind of <laughs> turned out that way. And so every, all, the anniversary of my channel, I do a video every single day, um, except Sundays, from from my channel anniversary to Halloween. I try to do. I don't think I've, I've. I don't think I've successfully done a full six days yet. Actually, <laughs> I've, I've come close. Um, normally, I just don't. I, you know, you have. I have to backlog for it. Like, there's no way I, I work yeah, for. Yeah. Like, and and I always always underestimate the time I'm gonna need to do six videos. <laughs> so, so I will usually start about a week before the anniversary, and be working on videos through the week to release like on halloween stuff like that so usually i'm working like two weeks straight to get one week of videos worth and usually it doesn't work out (laughs) usually um but i won't be dealing with school this october like i did in high school so that's gonna be a big plus yeah yeah that could that might be the make or break whether you make it or not Mm -hmm. yeah fun fun little things like that i love i love when channels have like little quirks you know i think i know rec mm-hmm. um back out uh, i know he doesn't do it anymore because his videos take way longer to make now but when he was doing <laughs> season two he did um uh a same same sort of thing he did like, he called it rec week and so he just did like an echo craft video every single day and his echo craft videos back in season two were like 10 minutes long or something like that or eight minutes long they were actually fairly short um yeah. so he could he could really go through them like super fast pop them out yeah um so i just i really like how when when channels have like little things that define the little little anniversary things or um 
or little quirks and stuff that really define who they are besides like the personality like they 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 make the time to carve out a fun little event yearly event or thing on their channel that they that they do yeah i'd like to have something like that but i feel like it has to be kind of natural you know i can't just make mm-hmm. one up yeah I have to let something occur to me and then i'll go from there mm-hmm. i feel like a channel anniversary is the great time to do something like that mine just happened to be so close to halloween it's so like okay my channel anniversary is gonna be all spooky videos for a week you know it's and it's super fun that's part of the reason why i love halloween i've always loved halloween but like that part of the year just uh, uh, now that like i do that on my channel and i can just like just just for fun just go all in on halloweeny videos and stuff like that like last season i did a halloween maze that did really well um that was so fun stuff like that that's it, it makes halloween even more fun for me yeah yeah that's 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 awesome let's see what i i I don't know if you know this off the top of your head, but like when, when is your anniversary? Like it's, I think it was, I've got also in October or November. I don't, I I I based mine off the, um, the first video I uploaded, not the time, not the date I created my channel because I created it like a month or two before and just didn't have anything, you know? (laughs) Yeah. I should check real quick because I, I had mine made before as well. So I need to, Take a look here. I need to do a little bit of scrolling. Oh, I've got two notifications since we've started this podcast. Okay. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully people are enjoying my video. I've I've get, I've been getting quite a few, quite a few comments and stuff on it, which is great. Oh, did you see YouTube just um just brought back the oldest tab? Really? They just reverted that change. Yeah, because everyone hated it. <laughs> uh, huh. Okay, so okay, the Mandalorian stop motion animation is that yours? Yeah, that, is that's yeah, your first I think video. That's the oldest one. So that's August nineteenth. August nineteenth. That doesn't sound no, because that was posted. That was on my channel before, and then I just unprivated it. That's not right. Oh. Um, try nebulously command gameplay clips. Nebula. Oh, wait. So, what was that? Nebula Fleet Command gameplay clips. I think that's probably the one. Fleet Command. Uh, so that'd be. Like a... That's February, February twenty seventh. Hmm. That's definitely. It was definitely earlier than that. I don't think there's actually a date that I have though, because because a lot of those videos I already had posted like private because I was using the channels like storage basically for videos. Oh yeah, you were like doing stuff for your. And then I yeah. Uh, and okay. I just decided to make them public later. Yeah. Let's see. So would it be like a gaming video? Hypixel or... Well, that would have been later, too. Saving the UNSC. Oh, you played Halo? You play Halo? Yeah, I play Halo. Oh, cool. Uh, Lucid and I were talking about that a couple episodes ago. Um, we were talking about maybe playing it sometime. That'd be, yeah, that'd be super that'd fun. That'd be fun. Because I've got, I've got the Master Chief collection. My, my laptop can't handle infinite even though mm. i love it that was the first one i played <laughs> and then went back and started playing the other ones because my friend halo really... reach is still halo reach is the one i you. can hold okay i can hold my own in halo reach and halo 2 for some reason which is surprising because halo 2 <laughs> is like the sweatiest game mode i've heard <laughs> like yeah it's... halo 2 is really sweaty. so i i don't know how i'm i managed to to hold my own in halo 2 when that's probably the one i've played the least i played combat evolved for a while and then got sick of combat of all yeah. spawn <laughs> spawn like mechanic yeah, spawns <laughs> so bad I, uh. I i never had an xbox i i've never owned an xbox so for the longest time the only exposure i had to halo was through a couple of friends of mine who had xboxes mm-hmm. so i would just go to their house like a couple times a year right and play halo and i loved it and i was like this is amazing where can i play this and I just couldn't play it because I did not have the right console to play it. And I was mm-hmm. so sad for like oh, like five or six years I couldn't play Halo. And then yeah. I finally built my first computer. And I'm like, wait a minute. Halo has the Master Chief collection. And then, and then I just bought it and I just played <laughs> through every Halo game. And then Halo Infinite came out and I'm like, yes. And so the- I was so happy. <laughs> yeah, I, rem- I remember. So I had played Halo once. Okay, so. Okay. 
this is this is a fun story. The first time I ever played Halo was at school. Basically, the bus came, picked us up, you know, brought us to school, mm-hmm. and we had probably about a half hour before classes started. And so someone had Combat Evolved on a flash drive, and so we went into the computer lab, and he oh. one by one put put his copy of combat evolved on each of the school computers and we do when and we do lan and we oh my do, god <laughs> that was the first time i ever at all that was the first time i ever played halo <laughs> and the last time uh until infinite came out wow <laughs> that's kind of funny yeah but i do remember seeing the trailer for but I, okay so even though i hadn't played it i was very familiar with the music love the music mm-hmm. like it's it's amazing um, same as like Skyrim. Like I haven't played Skyrim. I haven't touched the game at all. But mm-hmm. I've listened to yeah, the soundtrack a dozen times because it's Skyrim soundtrack. It's so good. Um, so that yeah. that was that was like the exposure I had to Halo basically before then. It was kind of like the that same Skyrim thing. It's like never touched the game, never played it or anything. But I'm very familiar with the music. Very familiar with the 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 th- style and the themes of the game. Yeah. And um, and so I was. It was E3, and I was again in a in one of the computer. Labs. I was in the library, um, doing some homework. And I took a break from homework and brought up YouTube because I knew E3 was going on. I was like, okay, what what kind of stuff is going on? And I saw the Halo Infinite trailer. I was like, this is cool. <laughs> I know I know there's <laughs> going to be a lot of people freaking out um, about this, and it was awesome. <laughs> like even even though I never even though I only touched the game once, like I was still very hyped by the halo infant trailer because it's just it was built so well like it was yeah it was yep. so cool and i yeah i love like going back and watching like reaction videos <laughs> for like for like the infinite trailer um people like react people like guessing like you know halfway through they're like huh this this seems familiar is that a is that a downed pelican is that Oh, that's a marine. That's a marine. That's chief. <laughs> and then just freak out. <laughs> and then and then and then the Halo Three fanfare, the bum 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 bum. That that starts playing, and it's just like everyone just dies. <laughs> yeah, it, it was. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. So yeah, I've I've been playing. Um, I've got another friend who's who's never played the campaigns before, so we've been playing con- through Aww. Combat Evolved together. Yeah. Um I think we're going to be playing uh two betrayals tomorrow. Um we did we just played through the library <laughs> a week or so ago. <laughs> that was an experience. Uh <laughs> Yeah, I I can I I understand why people hate the library now. And we were doing co-op like we Yeah. Like yeah. like I feel like it'd be twice as hard if we weren't. <laughs> Unless it scales. Oh, yeah, I don't I don't know if it think, scales based I think on the it's... players. Oh, I don't know if Combat Evolved does. I think I think the more modern games do. I think I think maybe Halo Three does. I might mm-hmm. be completely wrong about this. I might be making crap up, but I think a couple of them do scale at least a little bit. But I don't know if Combat Evolved does. Yeah, I don't know because I've I've seen a few um, a few modding videos. Um, there's like a project now for Halo Two specifically. Halo Two had a really really bad um, development cycle. Like it mm-hmm. was, it was terrible. Like if you're talking, we're talking about crunch culture. Halo Two is infamously like one of the worst development. Yeah, develop. I, like, I think I've seen the a worst video ga- on that. game developments of all time. And the fact that Halo Two did so well was just like so great for everyone who stuck yeah. through it. Yeah, like, but they, the thing is, they end up cutting like forty percent of the content from the game. Oh. Um, like the infamous, um, the infamous cliffhanger is like. Sir, finishing this fight. That wasn't supposed to be a cliffhanger. Um, it was originally supposed to be Halo One and Halo Two, and that was it. And so, like oh. everything with like the arc, and originally the arc was going to be on Earth. Um, one of the, okay. I think one of the benefits <laughs> of Halo Two getting split into two games instead of being crunched into one game was that they were actually able to to make the scale of Halo Three more than it would have been the, in the original, because yeah. the original Halo, the original Halo Two ending would have had you know the fight with the grapevine, like, you know, the, the fight with um, Truth and, like, the destruction of Grapevine and everything. Um, uh, by the way, I, I, I'm i very familiar with the plot. <laughs> I haven't played through them, but I had a friend talk to me on hours on end 
Uh, I had a yeah, roommate talk yeah. to me hours on end about the game, so I'm I'm very familiar with the story and and everything. I just haven't played them, so I know I you know I knew I knew the flood was coming, which meant that when I was playing through like three four three Guilty Spark, I could see the different the environmental storytelling and like appreciate mm-hmm. the, that kind of stuff. So anyway, yeah, fight with truth, destruction of grapevine and stuff that was all supposed to happen on Earth. The arc was basically where the where they discovered the key ship, um, in or the um. There's like the key ship, and then they land on Earth to the key, you know, and yeah, that yeah. opens up the portal to the Ark. Originally, the key ship was supposed, basically supposed to open up the Ark. The Ark was supposed to come up from under the ground or whatever. Um, oh. And and everything would be on Earth. So one benefit of Halo 2's development cycle was that the Ark ended up becoming this dedicated space thing, you structure, know. Yeah. Like, this get dedicated structure way more impressive than any of the rings were. Um and so, like, and and m- most of the mi- most of the story beats play out the same, you know, saving Cortana, defeating Truth, defeating Grave Mind, all this kind of stuff. Um, where was I going with this? Anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. So modding videos. So there's a project right now to basically uh, go through and um, bring back all of the lost content. A lot of it was like in the game files and then just kind of masked over, like just kind of told, you know, there's like, there's like, um, you know, groups of enemies that are supposed to spawn in specific areas that they didn't, that they just kind of told not to spawn. You know, there's, there's a piece of code that says like, okay, don't spawn these enemies. Or there's like a demo version that has different changes. Like there's a, there's a flood juggernaut i think that's like a big it's like a, supposed to be a mini boss um in one of the huh. first arbiter levels yeah um so like a lot of stuff like that that like you know there's there's concept art and there's like models like i think there was a flood juggernaut model but just never implemented in the game so there's a project mm-hmm. right now to basically bring back a lot of that lost content um that's interesting including like the e3 um new Mombasa demo because the city got changed oh. a bunch and, and it was like extended in the E3 version. Um, huh. So bring back like that, that new Mombasa level um, to the map. So they're basically just taking all of the content that's in the game files but was never like used. In the game files the or like, game. or like are in um, development videos, yeah. like promo, like old promos or, um, or like uh, discussions, like interviews, like, you know, You'll get an interview with Joe Staten or Marty O'Donnell saying, like, this was supposed to be in the game, but it got cut. And so people are like, okay, yeah. we're going to put this in the game now. And basically, yeah. you know, there's there's some artistic um, limitations. That, I mean, I don't know if limitations is the right word, but, like, you know, sometimes there'll just be a mention in an interview, you know, so they kind of have to say, okay, how would this have worked out? How is how this fit in with the style of Bungie's gameplay and stuff like that. And I have to be a little and, bit creative with it. Yeah. yeah. Be a little bit creative with it. So of course, chances are, it's not going to be exactly like the original Halo two was supposed to be, but pretty close because the people <laughs> who are working on these have watched, you know, every behind the scenes documentary. They've watched like hours <laughs> of, of footage and stuff and, and really got a good idea of how Bungie, cause Bungie is bit Bungie was really, really great with releasing behind the scenes footage and yeah. and discussions and like exactly how they decide to structure levels and stuff like that and what what they do how they know what, what's if something works and what doesn't and so like people are able to get into the mindset of bungie developers and exactly what makes a halo game based on those interviews um which makes it even more funny that 343 dropped the ball so bad <laughs> with <laughs> with their games because there's hours upon hours of discuss of behind Ideas the scenes discussions and footage, and, 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 footage yeah. and stuff and Bungie basically going step by step. There's a series of videos of Halo uh, of the Bungie developers going step by step, um, ex- explain exactly how they create a Halo game. Basically, like the development, like there's there's there's, like, there's a not listen to that. There's a video <laughs> specifically dedicated to music. There's a video specifically dedicated to art style. There's you know. Um, combat mm-hmm. and stuff like that, all this, all this kind of stuff. So yeah, they're basically going through and uh, basically bringing all that stuff back into Halo Two, which should be pretty interesting when it when it comes out. Yeah, that 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 should be really cool. <clears throat> that sounds uh, like fun. Anyway, 
uh, man, I love I love these nerdy conversations. Like every once in a while, we'll get <laughs> we'll get into a conversation about uh, like Halo or Star Wars or Harry Potter or whatever, and just go off yeah. for like twenty minutes, which is the best. You don't have to <laughs> like there there are, there have been some times where where you can like we've been maybe struggling to to fill out time a little bit, and like we've maybe don't have all the topics picked out i mean i never pick out any topics really i just i just i just i just start recording and hope just for the best yep. some t- and we always get through it but sometimes it's a little bit more a little bit slower a little bit more awkward uh but these these nerdy conversations always just are the best <laughs> yeah. yeah oh man uh, okay so but i think that's just about how long have you been recording uh, uh an hour an hour ish okay pretty much exactly yeah that's pretty much as long as we try to go to at least <laughs> uh maybe Perfect. maybe one last question out of here a simple one um let's see uh okay fingar says views on cheese it's very important i get answers <laughs> <laughs> best part of the pizza yes i mean pepperoni best is up there the pizza. or 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 if you go to um pretty sure it's domino's when it's got like the garlic on the crust mm. that's so good well so well, I'm, 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 I'm talking garlic, like a base Amazon. pizza. If you just want a plain pizza, like with nothing on it, like you can add toppings and make it whatever you want. But like, if you just want like the pizza itself without anything else on it, the cheese is the most important part. It will make or break the pizza. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Cheese is definitely, yeah, it is the most important part. Cause you can, you can go without tomato sauce. I mean, Italian pizzas apparently are, don't use tomato sauce. Um, yeah. Most part. Sometimes they have like slices of tomato, but. Yeah, stuff like that. So, but they, it's always bread and cheese. Those are like the two things that make yep. a pizza. Everything else is just makes it better, mm-hmm. you know, except for pineapple. Pineapple could burn. <laughs> like, <laughs> get it I, off. Get, I, I, I had a discussion with Mad on day one. Uh, we were talking about fruits and stuff. And Mad is very much a pineapple enjoyer, and I'm not. And we got into. I don't know if I don't know if I'd call it heated, <laughs> but we got into a discussion. It's on lagging stream. If you guys want to <laughs> come through hours of footage to find that find that discussion, <laughs> that's fun. Okay, uh, what about sandwich cheese? Like I I go for provolone. Oh. Like provolone is my favorite um, sandwich cheese. Like if I'm doing if I'm doing, I'm doing like can you know ham and mayonnaise, uh, maybe some mustard and provolone, and Cheddar, if I have it, cheddar is fine. And for years mm-hmm. and years growing up, I used cheddar. But then sometime in my teenage years, is like, oh, this pro loan stuff is good. And so I, I've been using that since. So what's what's kind of your thoughts on sandwich cheese? Like what? I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of odd with cheese. Like mozzarella is my go to. Like if I, if I need a cheese. I mean, that's the pizza cheese. Is Mozzarella's is yeah. the pizza cheese. <laughs> yeah, I know. But it works with almost everything because it's yeah. like. You get that cheesy, but it's like it's not too much. It doesn't overpower whatever else you want to eat it with. Mm-hmm. So it just works. I don't know. Provolone is the same same sort of thing. It's got like, it's a bit. Um, I don't know if softer is the right word, but mm-hmm. it's 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 you know the flavors dialed down a bit. Cheddar cheddar is very you know especially if you get like a sharp, sharp sharper cheese, cheddar. Yeah. Like cheddar is a very flavorful cheese, and like Swiss mm-hmm. Swiss has a lot of flavor. But for provolone and mozzarella, they kind of they kind of dial down the flavor a little bit. But it's still there. It just doesn't cover mm-hmm. up things, which is, which is great. Yeah. All right, <laughs> that's our cheese discussion. Jeez. <laughs> oh man, but this is this that has been random. fun. This has been fun. This has been definitely been one of my favorite episodes so far. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can get another episode out sometime in the next week or so. I mean, some yeah, we try yeah. to do these weekly. Obviously, it doesn't always work out that way, but. We try, mm-hmm. <laughs> and um, <laughs> yeah, maybe I can get some of the other the other new guys on again, um, and ask them some of the some of the questions and like that. I I really like that one about the um, the enjoying content Time more management. being on Ecocraft than beforehand. Oh it feels yeah, like yeah a, that one. That feels like I don't, I don't actually I don't think I answered that question. I mean, like I said, I've been doing it for like seven years. I don't get paid, so it's you know, I, it's, it's definitely a hobby. So definitely a hobby. Um, yeah. So my motivation, it's always been driven by motivation. Um, and so I guess Psychocraft definitely helps with that. But um, yes, yeah, so I think it's, I think I've always been self-motivated. I don't think 
EchoCraft has changed that very much. I might put out more videos more often because I definitely find EchoCraft videos really fun. Not that I mm -hmm. haven't always found that videos fun. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing it for seven years. But, you know, <laughs> like it, I don't think there's too much of a difference between my video schedule mm -hmm. of between Ech but before EchoCraft, BE and CE or yeah, BE and AE. Uh, I don't know. BEC, AEC? Before EchoCraft and the common EchoCraft. I don't know. <laughs> it's like it's like BCE and CE is like common era before common era. It's like before Beck Keck. Beck Keck. Yeah, Beck and Keck. <laughs> 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 anyway, yeah. Uh, I don't think there's been too much of a difference. I think I just have definitely put out videos a little bit more often though. Um, mm -hmm. But it's not anything drastic or anything. Um, but yeah, this has been fun. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, yeah, hopefully you guys you guys enjoy it. Hopefully you guys enjoy these types of conversations. Uh, go check out Pizza, uh, Pizza's channel, Ooh. as well as Magpie and Rabbit. Um, they're the brand new members of the server. Also, Sky, um, Sky Larishi is coming back from season three. So um, we have yeah. four four new faces for me specifically, and um, maybe for you guys too who kind of got introduced through season four through maybe some of my videos. Um, if any of you have been watching my videos for a while and kind of found Echocraft through that. So, um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we will see you. I Okay, I don't know how to finish these. See you, <laughs> hear you, what is going on? I mean, there's there's gameplay going on in the YouTube <laughs> the YouTube podcast, podcast ends now. But it's also on Spotify. And so, like, I in my videos, I always say, see you in the next one. But if we're doing an audio-only thing, how do you say that? Hear you in the next one is you not the same us thing. In the next you will hear one. us you in the next us. one. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. I'll probably just stick with see you in the next one. Um, yeah. Keep Leave some comments in the YouTube video or on the community Discord. I think Spotify has a weird Q&A comment section thing. So if Does you have it? questions, if you <laughs> have some comments you guys or, or, um, or topics you guys want us to talk about, um, yeah, feel free to drop them in the, any of those places and we will... Um, yeah, see if see if any of them interest us enough to talk about them. So, um, yeah, we will see you. <laughs> I'm just going to stick with it. We're going to see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye.